Good day, welcome to First Choice Training. I'm Martin Dagnall. I want to talk to you today a little bit about our 3M water treatment and water filters. Now I'm going to keep this short today because it's a little bit of a, just a guidance note for you on how to replace your reusable cartridges um, for, your, for your 3M systems. Now I've got a different range of cartridges here, I'm going to talk about them briefly, but I'm not going to go into great detail with the cartridges. Obviously we, we sell a full range here at uh, First Choice. So any of your, your needs with regards to 3M water treatment, please contact us and we'll, or look on our website and we'll have all the information you need. <coughs> However, today I want to talk about how you can replace your cartridge. And there are three different head units that you might come across when you're looking at the cartridge. I'm going to choose this one first of all because this is fairly simple. If you have this head unit design, <coughs> you can buy replacement cartridges from us. Now, the cartridges normally would have a date and time when they were replaced on them here, and they're normally recommended that they're changed every 12 months. However, you will find in some situations, if it's constant or regular use, you may find that your, your cartridge is required to be changed every six months, but you'll have that information either on the cartridge or from the technical team when you have them installed. Now, if you have this type of head system, <coughs> It's important to note that actually to remove the cartridge, all we actually need to do is twist it anti-clockwise like I'm doing so now. And the actual cartridge, do it slowly and the cartridge will come away. Now there's actually a shut-off valve inside the head. So as you remove the cartridge, it shuts off the water. So there's no need to turn the water off, the supply of water off to the head. You can just remove the cartridge. Now you will get a little bit of water coming out of here, okay? But don't panic. It will only be a few drops as you as you remove it, okay? To insert your new cartridge, then when you receive the new cartridge, it will have a, a red cap over here. You remove the the red cap and the packaging, and then you take your new cartridge, and then it, it slots in like so, and you just twist it clockwise and you should find that the label points to the front once it's inserted correctly, so make sure it's turned fully clockwise. Once you've inserted any new cartridge, you then need just to flush fresh water through the system. So go to your, your end source and actually use the water supply um, just to clear any air really from the system, because there will be some air in the cartridge, you'll get a few spurts coming out of, of air as, as, you, uh, as you run the supply, but you just want to run maybe five or six litres through just to clear any cartridge. Obviously, larger cartridges may be a little bit more water than the smallest ones. So that's one head type. You'll also find you may have the same head type, but it may have a, a premix setting on the top here, or a bypass. Now that should have been set by the technician when your filter was installed. So you'll find it be set at a certain number here to set the bypass for the appliance or a machine that it's feeding water to. That shouldn't need adjusting. So you can still, in the same way, remove the filter and refit the filter like we've just shown you with the other unit. You could have a slightly smaller system, similar to this. And again, that works in exactly the same way as what we've just seen. It has a shut-off valve in the, in the head here, in the head unit. So when you want to remove the cartridge, twist it anti-clockwise and it pops out like so. Again, you will get a little bit of water, but it will shut the water off as you remove it. When you reinsert the new cartridge, pop it in, twist it so the label's pointing to the front, and that should be fine to go. Again, flush the system through a little bit. Of course, if you've only got a small cartridge like this, it's not going to take much to flush it through. Probably a litre of water or so will be fine. Okay. Then, you may have something a little more, bit more elaborate like this. So this kind of head unit on the system, and you could even find that you've got a plant room area where you've got a bank of these units connected together, and you've got several different cartridges. When we look at these cartridges, the most important thing to remember is before you remove the cartridge, you need to isolate the water supply. So on this unit, there would be an inlet valve at the top there, okay, and here we would have an isolation valve. If the, the lever's pointing the way of the pipe, then that means it's open, if you turn it against the pipe, that closes the water supply. So you would need to turn the water off before you remove the cartridge. Then when it comes to removing the cartridge, you need to push this little yellow button here. When I push that button, I get a little clip, and it allows me to then, the same as before, twist the cartridge and remove the cartridge out. I take my new cartridge, 
Obviously take the red cap off the top that it will come with. Pop it into place the same as before. Locate it, twist it clockwise until it clicks. And you'll get a little click from this button and that ensures that it's locked in position. Okay, so again, label should be pointing to the front. Obviously, if you do change them, you can write the details on the label as well with regards to the time and the date when you replaced it for future reference. And <clears throat> also then, obviously, you can return the water to back to being on and again, flush the system. Of course, being slightly larger bottles and you may have more than one or even bigger bottles, you would need to flush probably a little bit more water through just to clear the air from the system. You'll also note on the larger units here, and you can also have them on the smaller units, you may have a gauge. On the gauge, it will record your pressures, so it will record the maximum pressure you've seen, and um, you can also set the preload on it. So if it goes too low pressure, it will, uh, it will monitor it on the gauge. Okay, <clears throat> there is also add-ons you can get for these, so you may have something that looks like this. Uh, a smaller system, if you've got maybe an ice machine, you may have this type of filter going to an ice machine. If you have that and you need to replace this type of filter, you will need to isolate the incoming water. And then this filter just screws in. So you unscrew it, turn it anti-clockwise. It's got a small tapered uh, fitting and an O-ring there. You just take your new cartridge, screw it into place. Okay and you should find it ends up pretty much with the label forward. And then again, you'd need to turn your water back on and just flush any uh, air out of the system before you use it. Okay. Um, only other things you might find with cartridges, you may get this little, it's uh, the water sort of regulator, so it's a bit like having your date and time on there. You'll get this in the packet with your cartridge. You can actually, it's a little sticker, you can stick it onto the cartridge and when you press it and break the seal on it, it will actually record um, months. So a little, little scale will go up, a little coloured bar will go up, and it will tell you when it gets to six months and 12 months. So you've got a visual aid there to give you guidance of when to replace the filter. Um, we will be doing other videos for you moving forward, but hopefully that was just a, a brief insight into how to replace the, uh, the exchangeable cartridges. And if you want any more information or any more guidance, please contact us here at First Choice and we'll be very happy to help you. Thank you.